putting in some shrubs. White, oh, hang on, there's a whole lot of birds actually. Can you see them just there? Oh, it's beautiful. There's also white crested helmet shrikes, but we'll have a look at the wood hoopoos first because they've got the light shining on them now and they've got beautiful feathers. Look at that. You get colors of green, you get some purple, and of course the white spots just on their wings and underneath their tail, and of course that beautiful bright orange bill which they will use to probe around in between the bits and pieces of bark looking for little grubs or beetles anything that may be living in there so they don't use their beaks like a woodpecker does they don't hammer away at things but it is long enough and you can see they're able to stick it into any of these little crevices quite easily and like the hardy dart they have got a sensory nerve which helps them locate where the insects may be. Now very lucky to actually have such a long sighting of green wood hoopoos. They're notorious for flying away. There's one just down to the right, just there we go. It's just, uh, there's only two of them, I've only seen the two. Just to the left, there we go. And beautiful birds. Um, they're very, very shy and they've got the most amazing call. I actually had a very nice sighting of them three days ago. I was at a hide and we sat there for hours just watching. We had elephants pass by, but the birds that came around were really quite beautiful. And there was a group of about 10 of these gr uh, greenwood hoopoos that came about and were actually flicking through the old grass. Well, that's beautiful, isn't it? You might have been able to have even heard the white crested helmet shrike. So it seems as though there's a, a food party around here. And a food party is a whole lot of different birds. Should we show the white crested helmet shrikes are just. Can you see them through there? Here we go. Nicely done. There we are. Also beautiful birds. They've got striking colors, especially with those bright yellow skin around their eyes. Look at that. And tiny little dots. Someone's got a little insect by the looks of it. What are you eating? Looks like it's got definitely got something there. Hmm. Delicious. Maybe a butterfly? I couldn't quite see what it was, but also contrasting orange legs. And look how dark the nails are on their toe oh, on their feet. Don't you think that's quite cool? I never noticed that. Well, I suppose when you do have orange legs, you can see um, any color just off of them. They're all flying around. See, moving together, all working as a team, you'll, you'll get the, the hoopoos, which will dangle on the sides of trees like this and, and probe in the bark, which we've already discussed. And then you might get some hornbills and also some drongos sort of fluttering along the grass levels, flushing all the insects up and then allowing for the different species. Uh, to feed on the insects that are missed. Now, Linda, you've said that this is that you said they're all so beautiful. They are. I love watching birds. And another bird that I forgot to tell you that I've got to see were Mayer's parrots. So we see the brown headed parrots here. I got to see another one, the Mayer's parrots, but I'll show you a little bit later what they look like. They're quite beautiful as well. So I got to see lots and lots of new birds. I watched a heron at the hide, a, a grey heron, fish and catch a huge barbel. It was so great, it took about half an hour before it ate it. Uh, there was also a Goliath heron hanging around there, and of course the Egyptian geese were about to... Oh, and a squirrel! Hello, have you come to join the food party too?